Say hi. Say what's up, everybody. Say hi. Welcome back to my channel. section on my videos my instagram messages all you guys request all the time is an update i've been updating as much because um with covid going on i went like i want to say a month without getting any new trays and then i had to get rescanned so i had to wait for new trays to come in so it's kind of been a process so the last time i talked about my invisalign was three months ago on my six month update i am now coming up on my one year so i'll have invisalign for one year next month in august so as many of you guys know i was the last time i talked about it in my video i only had a few trays left. i ended up going back to my orthodontist and they they rescanned me and then when my scans came back i thought it was just gonna be like my a few extra trays I thought it was just gonna be a few extra trays to fix the front tooth because my front tooth was still very crooked but it actually they actually gave me uh, 23 more trays so I originally started with 23 and then they gave me 23 more so it's basically like I'm at the beginning all over again so I have to go through 23 more trays currently I'm wearing tray 5 out of 23. Tray 6, um, like I just said, I'm on tray 5. So I still wear my elastics the same size still, which is um, the 1 8. So I'm still wearing those, and I'm probably going to be wearing those for probably at least, I, I can't even say how long really. So in this video, I'm going to be dropping a lot of before and after pictures because whenever I get on camera, I feel like you really can't tell how much my teeth and my overbite have changed. So throughout this video, I'm just going to drop a lot of before pictures, um, some side profile pictures so you can see how bad my bite was, some close up pictures of my teeth, and then I'll do after pictures as well so you guys can see. So also what I wanted to mention in this video is if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, I'm going to drop my Instagram name. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments, uh, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Like I said, I have had gotten, I have gotten a lot of DMs on Instagram with just people that are nervous, they're getting Invisalign, and they just wanted to reach out um, and talk about it a little bit with me and I answer any questions that they have. So sometimes I'm not always watching the comments in YouTube, on YouTube so the quickest way to get a hold of me would be through Instagram so if you don't follow me feel free to go check out my Instagram yeah like I said there's really like nothing to update you guys on the most results you'll see is when I drop these um, pictures because um, it's just a lot easier to see how much has changed That's about it with my um, Invisalign though, like I'm still doing the same thing as my six month update. Nothing has changed, I still wear the rubber bands. Um, I People keep asking me if my face is changing, I haven't noticed any changes with my face. My front tooth is still crooked, um, they're still trying to correct that. I have had a lot of, I don't know if you guys like would care if I talked about this, but I have had um, a lot of dental work done like root canals fillings um i've had some bad experiences i was thinking about doing like a story time about um 
my scary dentist experience whenever I had to get a root canal done, but then I was like, oh, I don't want to scare people, but I say that and I'm okay now. And also, I guess another thing that I can bring up, so this tooth here is a veneer. So basically, if you don't know what a veneer is, it's when they shave down your original tooth and then they put like a cap over top of that tooth. So your real tooth and like root is there, but it just like reshapes your uh, tooth size. And also I had like some discoloration in this one tooth that I, we couldn't get rid of. So I just put a, a veneer on it so it would look better. On my third, yeah, on my third of my new set that I just got, this tooth was hurting so badly and it wasn't like my teeth moving pain I mean it was like traumatic like I couldn't even touch right here because it hurt so bad so I made an emergency dentist appointment to go in and they did an x-ray and they said that like my roots fine and everything and they put me on antibiotics and I feel better but literally there was like a bump like not that bump, because that's just like a birth thing. Up, way up there. Is that it? Oh. Yeah, there it is. I made an emergency dentist appointment and I went in and he said that there's no, um, like my root's fine, but there's a bump, which you just saw. Like there's a bump up there that I don't, I don't know what it is. And I'm kind of scared because he put me on antibiotics, but it's still there. It doesn't hurt anymore, but it doesn't hurt anymore. But obviously, like, that's not normal. It wasn't there before. Or, yeah, it wasn't because I could, like, touch here. And now, like, it, like, is so sensitive to touch there. Oh, my God. I'm, like, panicking thinking about it again. So, I go back and see him on the 16th of this month, and... Since I've been up there like feeling around on that bump, last time I didn't feel anything up there so I didn't say anything so um, next time I go back I'm going to tell him that there's a bump up there and I don't know what it is and it's scary. And he said that I might have to get a root canal but the, two, the root itself seems fine but like something's obviously wrong because one there's a bump right here it's sensitive to hurt here like Oh, and I push right there that it's so sensitive and it goes all the way down to that tooth. So go figure, like I said, I have the worst dental luck ever. If, if something can go wrong, it'll go wrong. So that sucks. And I just got done. Well, I have one more month to pay off all of my teeth stuff. So I'm really happy about that because that was very expensive. I was paying like $700 each month for one year to pay it off within one year so it's like ten thousand dollars so go figure as soon as i pay something off something else goes wrong but um my insurance did re restart for the year so to, like i had to pay for a few root canals out of pocket but she said if i have to get a root canal it's only gonna cost me like 130 now but yeah i have the worst dental luck and I hate going to the dentist and it's just one of those things where everyone in my family has bad teeth and, um not so like my mom's side but my dad's side and like all of my sisters we we have some messed up teeth we all have the overbite I think my dad had my dad has an overbite I'm not sure I don't know I'll talk to him but my sisters have overbites and I know that like our teeth if you don't take very good care of them our teeth will rot extremely fast so like brushing flossing you have to do that you have to keep up with that for me in our family at least um thankfully i don't eat a lot of junk food um i don't eat a lot of candy i don't smoke cigarettes i, I don't do any type of crazy drugs so i feel like i do keep my teeth very well taken care of Typically people get their teeth cleaned every six months. I go every four months just to get those x-rays and make sure that everything is okay. But like I said, if something can go wrong, something will go wrong because that is just how my life works. 
So that is basically it for this video. I'm sorry I don't have too much to update you guys on. I'm, I'm sure you just wanted me to hop on here so you guys can see my teeth. I was thinking about doing a Q&A to answer any questions that you guys have. I will be doing that on my Instagram. So if you do not follow me on Instagram and you have some questions that you want me to answer in a video or something you want me to explain or show in a video, go on over there to my Instagram and send me a DM, leave me a comment, letting me know what you want me to address or film or talk about and I will definitely do that. I feel like I'm kind of like a broken record here. <laughs> like I said, I don't really have much to talk about. It's just the same thing over and over. But then when I upload the videos, I see your guys' comments and you guys do have a lot of comments. And the reason why I didn't address, didn't address the comments that have been made in my last video, I replied to like all the comments. So and I'll link it in. If you guys are interested in me doing a Q&A, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So that is how I'm going to sign off for this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic 4th of July weekend. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!